today I thought I'll spend just a, a minute or two on cloud computing. I think uh, suffice to say it's probably the next wave. Uh, it represents a very interesting combination. On the one hand, I think it's uh, evolution of the web. But on the other hand, it has all the ingredients of being perhaps the most disruptive technology that we have seen. Um, it holds a tremendous amount of promise uh, in terms of offering agility, uh, flexibility, uh, elasticity, and a perceived risk-free environment of uh, utilizing services. Uh, there is a debate raging today on whether cloud is ready uh, to be scaled up and scaled out for an enterprise. Uh, while there are uh, factions on both sides of the debate, there is one common theme that cloud is fast emerging to be an enterprise level uh, you know, platform, if you will, or an ecosystem. So what do today's CIOs need to pay attention to? I think the first and foremost, you have to look at the kind of culture you need to create within the IT organization and within the business organization. Second, I think you need to pay attention to things like uh, data integration, process control. Uh, and third, you need to look at how this ecosystem actually enables you to bring what I would call as business intelligence and performance metrics towards enhancing the value that an enterprise provides uh, to its customers uh, through agile decision making. I think as, as you look at this, um, you also have to choose uh, partners that understand the implications of cloud uh, from an architectural level, from a process model level to an adoption model, if you will. And uh, things like um, which are the, the systems integrators and services providers like Mahindra Satyam are doing in, in this space. I, I would like to leave you with one thought. I think uh, pay attention to cloud because if you don't, your enterprise could be lost in the clouds as opposed to shining through the clouds.